Welcome back, aspiring entrepreneurs and go-getters. I'm DK and in this video, you are going to learn 10 different post strategies that you can start implementing right away to your Facebook marketing. I promise you that if you watch this video till the end, you master the art of Facebook marketing, which will in turn skyrocket your sales in 2024. Before you get started, there are three things you need to know. Number one, important to know that Facebook marketing is all about bringing value and not selling. Now, this is true on all platforms, but it is especially true on Facebook. Because if you try to sell things on here, you will get punished with your reach. You wouldn't reach as many people. Number two, the goal of all of your posts is to make sure that you value ads to people so that people will want to share it. And when people share it, it's going to reach more people. They are going to get more people to your page. They are going to get more people to your Facebook group. And that's how to build a community. And finally, number three, the Facebook algorithm prefers video over static posts, aka photos. So to the best of your ability, try to make a lot of video content. You are going to reach more people. You are going to have more engagement from people and you are just going to get better results overall. So with that being said, let's get started. Strategy number one, this or that. So this or that, it's very simple. So we have Bond Market, who is a clothing brand who is asking, do you prefer this outfit or that outfit? If we scroll down to the comments, we can see it's filled with people who have a preference. Now, caveat here. Once again, if you look at the brand, they have almost 100,000 people following them. But still, if you look at their reach, they have only 14 thumbs up and 13 comments. Why? Because they put a link in here. So whenever you put a link in here, they are going to severely going to limit your reach. So you have to remember that when it comes to Facebook marketing, we focus on keeping people on the Facebook platform. Don't try to bring them anywhere. This way, you reach more people. So we need to be smarter, but that is strategy number one. This or that. Post content and it can be do you prefer this or that strategy, this or that outfit, this or that product. Give them a choice and ask them to comment what they have picked. So strategy number two, testimonials. Everyone loves testimonial, especially that shows that whatever you are dedicating yourself to is actually working and changing people's life. So here we have Sharon and she focuses on coaching and she has shared a testimonial here where basically a person has written to her and said that thanks to you, I have got amazing result. And she has replied, that's absolutely wonderful. So congratulations, thank you for sharing. Now, the most important part with that testimonial is to make sure that it's not salesy. It's not about showcasing how good your product is or service for the sake of selling, but it is to inspire. And she's succeeding with that. Her take says, Early this morning, I woke up to this message. I was so thrilled that I had already made a difference in someone's life. So she's excited about this and comments reflect this wonderful. I love the enthusiasm, what a wonderful aspiring share, etc. So when you think of testimonials, make sure it's not clearly just for you to sell more. It's really about inspiring and sharing success with other people. Strategy number three, statistics. So using numbers to showcase why something is a good option for your audience. It's an amazing way to show a value. Now, this is Wix. And if you don't know Wix, it's an alternative to Squarespace. It's basically a built website for you which has a lot of simplified features. And here they have a piece of content that says stores that use pop-ups can increase their subscribers by up to 35%. Now, this is very interesting because most of the people seeing and reading this is probably already going to be following their pages. They are going to bring value in this they are going to get more engagement on their actual software. Here is their mistake. They write, learn how, and then they have added a link instead of making this into a video to show people how and remove the link. So if you remove the link, that would have a greater and a bigger reach. So even though Wix has 4.5 million thumbs up, if you look at this, it's only getting 13 comments. And that is because the Facebook algorithm has so severely limited the reach of this post because of the link 
in here. So make sure that you are smart about your content. Use statistics to convince your audience that this is a good idea to do. But then also show them how to a video format that is going to bring the most value to them and that is going also to bring you the most reach. But using statistics to showcase a point is a very powerful statistics. Strategy number four, FAQ. So FAQ stands for Frequently Asked questions. So answering your audience questions is an amazing strategy to bring in engagement and get shares, especially for those who are interested in the same niche. Now, Mary, who is a beauty brand, has done it in a very clever way. So they write, Mary, FEQ, how do I lay your mind? Nine times skincare routine with Mary Kay. Clinical solutions. Now, I'm not that deep into skincare products. I don't fully understand what it means, but they have answered this question with a video and we can already see the results of videos are a little bit improved compared to what we have seen before but they still limit it with this link so let's have a look at this video now remember this is going to bring value even though you are not listening with sound but let's just see how they have answered this so that's the order that you should be layering them and they answered the questions head on so Use this as a strategy. Look into your group, study your group. If you have got it going, which is awesome, then you have started building your community and look at your page at what is the most frequent question. Make a video about it and post it. This is a very, very powerful strategy to be using. So strategy number five, we post user-generated content. Now, user-generated content is content that someone else has created, preferably someone who is liking or following your page or at least is within the same niche as you bring value to your audience. Here is a great example, Muscle and Fitness, first, which is a magazine specifically for fitness for women. They have reposed someone's FAQ. So we are kind of combining two strategies here, FAQ and reposting user-generated content, but focusing on the repost. She writes a question, what exercises can I do to help with posting? She has written a text about it. The cues you can use a lot, a lot of values, and also muscle and fitness. Here, they have written repost from and then add the actual original creator. This is extremely valuable for the creator itself, which would be this lady. So she's going to appreciate it and then they are going to appreciate you just getting to post some content without having to create it themselves. And if you look at this video, it's very simple and straightforward. It's an actual tutorial which is answering the question both in the text form in the description but also in the video. All they have done is repost it because they know this is valuable for their audience. So this is one of the quickest strategies you can implement here. Up to this point, I would like you to drop a comment below sharing what are some of the challenges you face when marketing on Facebook and even Yes, if you want me to teach you strategies to increase your reach on Facebook marketing. Number six, trend updates. Now, if you can stay on top of the news within your niche and then share those news and then add in your own knowledge onto those news, then your pitch on your group, depending on where you're putting this content, is going to be a source of very important and interesting information for your audience and for your community. So staying on top of trends can be an amazing strategy. So here's a magazine and they have an article here that says what you need to know about dietary microplastics including food bond sources. So basically if you are eating fish, how much potential mercury and plastics are you getting inside of your body? This is very relevant and important knowledge, especially when you are in the food industry. They also have different articles on artificial flavors. So when it comes to trend updates, make sure that it's updated and relevant to your niche because this is very valuable content for your audience. Strategy number seven, tutorials. Tutorials never get old. If you can show your audience how to do something that they need to know how to, then that's going to be considered valuable. Now, this is HubSpot and HubSpot offers a software for marketers to gather everything in one place and make their marketing easier. So they have a post right here that's called how to optimize your Google My Business account. And this is very clever because they are aiming towards businesses and every businesses needs 
to have their business on Google for their reviews to show that they are legit. So let's check out their tutorial. Looking to optimize your Google My Business account? Here are some tips. First, make sure you've claimed and verified your business. Next, choose a relevant business category. Then create an optimized introduction and make sure you're actually responding to reviews. And lastly, don't forget to include photos. That's really the best part. That's really the best part. Quick to the point, filled with value. And this is how you want your content to be as well. So make sure that you add in tutorials suitable to your audience. Strategy number eight, values. Now, this is very important that you are clear what your values are to your audience. Values is a strategy that's going to be far more important for your Facebook page than your Facebook group. Because in your group, most people that will already be aware of who you are and what you are standing for, which is why they want to be part of your community. Tutorials are going to be better there. But on your page, sharing your values is going to be a better option. So, for example, here is GoPro. And it's a very simple image and it says Black Lives Matter. Always have, always will. There is no excuse and racism. Now, a very clear statement. And it's clearly showcasing that not only what their values are, but also they are a brand who dares to speak out about those very sensitive but important issues. Now, this is a very important piece of branding because people connect to value-driven brands, which is why it's important that you make sure that you are one, that you understand your values and that you share them very clearly. Strategy number nine, using memes. Now, a meme is just taking an image from any piece of popular culture, usually from a famous movie and then adding in your own text. Usually, a famous movie and then adding in your own text. So let's have a look at what Wix is doing. So we have already seen Wix use the statistics strategy for the abandoned cart. Here they are using the meme strategy. So it basically says that if you abandon your cart on my store, I will find you and I will email you. Probably you recognize the guy in the image and you might even recognize which movie he's from. And this is the entire point of using memes. People recognize it, they think that it's funny, they sympathize with it, which makes it very share-friendly, which makes it a very good strategy. So just stay on top of what's popular and use that to your advantage. But remember, value, value, value. And finally, strategy number 10. If this is you, strategy now. If this is your strategy now, if this is you, it's basically just creating a video or creating an image, whatever it might be, and asking, is this you? And here is Ben and Jerry's using this strategy. So it's a simple image. Is this cookie lovers me in the middle? And then ice cream lovers and showing them that you love both cookies. You love both ice cream, meaning you are going to love this cookie ice cream. So it's a very fun and clever way in, and it's very share friendly. And if you were doing any form of beauty products, you could make a hilarious video on someone putting things on in the wrong way or making a mess everywhere when everyone is trying to add in their beauty routine. Or maybe someone who is always late because they are taking care of their face, but your product, they know that it will be quicker to apply. So the idea with this strategy is really to create a piece of content where people recognize themselves. So identity is an extremely powerful way of marketing. If people recognize themselves in your piece of content, they are more likely to sympathize it, which will cause them to share it, where they are going to say, hey everyone, this is me. And that's what you want. And that's what gets to share. So if they share it, it's going to show their friends. It's going to reach more people and you're going to get more exposure on your Facebook page. More people are going to find your content and some are going to like it so that it's going to end up in your community. And that's how you grow your business and brand. Drop a comment down below sharing which of the 10 strategies that you're most excited to implement. Or yes, if you want me to teach you strategies to increase your reach on Facebook Marketing 2024. So well done. Now you have 10 great posting strategies that you can start using it right away. And remember, don't stay limited to these strategies. Your imagination is going to be your key to keep on posting and let this to be a good start. And remember, value, value, value. So click here if you want to learn how to get your first customer in 2024 by conducting a detailed target audience persona. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end.
kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it and comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead, till next time.